and uh, today you will learn how to convert px to rem you can head on to pixelsconverter.com and go to px to rem right here so um uh px to rem convert this is actually px to rem converter uh, you have uh, more information here how to convert and the difference between px and rem and all of that so First, let's start to convert 1,000 PX to see what would be the equivalent on RAM. That would be 62.5 RAM. Let's try 400. That would be uh, 25 RAM. So how do you know that 400 PX is equivalent to uh, 25 RAM? Uh, first, let's define the terms. Uh, RAM, RAM is actually a root stands for root EM. So root M, uh, M is a another font uh, relative measurement where its value depends on the font size of the parent element. I've, I've discussed that here. You can maybe check out here, Pextream, Pextrue, EM to PX Converter. So let's head on to REM. Um, if you want to be consistent in your sizes, consistent, have a constraint on your divs, have a uniformity on your um, font sizes, on your height and width of the elements uh, throughout your web page, you are probably want to use the rem uh, measurement unit rather than uh, always using pixels so uh, root em rem is actually uh, pretty easy uh, you just it depends on the font size of your html element uh, it's always the html element that's why it's called root em because this is the root of the document the html uh, element so Whatever the value of uh, the whatever the font size of here of your HTML element, element that would be the value of uh, one RAM throughout your site. For example, we have a for example I have a box here one two three boxes. This one uh, I applied nothing. We applied nothing. We applied uh, just this uh, width, height, border, margin, padding, and in this box we applied one RAM. So uh, here one RAM RAM this rem2 class is we add two rem so this is box is actually uh, the font size of this box is one rem and this one is two rem so technically these are of the same sizes right because one rem is equal to 18 px so nothing changed this is just one rem but this one this should be bigger this should be two times the size of the root element that's why so to calculate your um uh, RAM, RAM is so since gi f since it's given that font size is 18 px, you just have to multiply that by two. So this is actually 18 times two. Uh, this is this this is the same saying as this will be 36 px, right? So to be consistent, we just have to add two RAM, and that is equivalent also to um, uh, 36 px. So let's try to see this in action. Open this in live server C. This box one and box two are the same because this one is just uses 18 px. Uh, what's being assigned here on HTML is just um, inherited that value, and this one, the font size of what this box is one rem. It is because uh, nothing changed. It's just one rem, still 18 px. But this one, it's times two because the font size of this box is two rem. So what if I have here uh, 1.2 rem, 1.2 rem, that should be quite bigger. See, it's bigger than the rest, or 1.5. So this is what we mean by if you want to be consistent on your design, consistent in your layout and sizes, you, just, you, you may want to use rem rather than adding 36px here, 36, 36 px then adding another px here 18 px so that's that's there will come a time that uh, this will be inconsistent so you may want to use rem right here and maybe 3 rem right here so that will automatically change the values there so that's it uh, one thing you just want to remember using rem is that rem uh, measurement unit depends on the a font size of the root element. This time, the root element of the, this document is HTML, so it's 18 px. And you just want to may you you may just want to use the calculator here. 
if your R base is 18 px, that would be the value of our HTML element. Uh, let's try 267. That would be 1483 RAM. You don't want to use that. You want to be um, concise on your RAM, like 1.5, 1.2, 1 1.3. Don't use this 14.83, something like that. Uh, let's try 1,000. So that would be 55.55. So you, um, I leave that to you, but uh, that's the uh, conversion on PX to RAM. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you.